All right, so this particular um, session or this lesson is going to be about becoming profitable, all right? Uh, being a profitable trader or becoming a profitable trader. Now, I'm gonna take it another, another route, all right? A lot of times when I talk about this, I go one way. Today, I'm gonna go a different route. So becoming a profitable trader. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna ask a question for you guys. And I want you guys to uh, to answer it. What am I, now, this is very private, right? If you want to answer, you, you can. If you don't, it's fine. All right. What amount of money, being realistic, starting from the month of May or the end of this month, let's say this in the month of May, what amount of money realistically will make you or make it worthwhile trading, right? So. Is it $100 a month, $400 for you, $500 for you? Like what amount of money would be realistically worthwhile for you? So I want you guys to answer, uh, answer that question if you can, all right? Um, so I see 2 k a month, okay, $400, okay? Some people might be different. Some people might be 500, right? Some people might be 600. Some people might be 700. Some people might be 800, right? So I see another 2K, okay. Now, whatever number that you're thinking of in your head, all right? So let's, let's, let's think about this. Whatever number you're thinking of in your head, with the account size that you have right now, if I say that you were able to make, um, if 10%, is that doable, yes or no? If you made 10% of the account, whatever you have right now, Will it make you happy, right? Would you be happy with the, with the account or the money that you get? Yes or no? So some of us have, you know, a certain amount of, of money in our account. So if I say that 10%, is that going to make you happy? Yes or no? Now, I need people to, like, say yes or no, whatever it may be, all right? A lot of you guys is probably going to say no because $200, $300, hundred dollars, 50 bucks, 60 bucks might not make us um, happy, right? So again, the first question I asked was this, how much money in, in, the, next, in the next month is reasonable enough for you to make sure that like this is, this is worthwhile, right? Everybody has a certain number in their head. The ne next question is that the account, the money that you have right now in your account, if you're trading demo um, live or using, um, a prop firm is that amount of money is 10 percent of that or whatever it is that you make or whatever your account is okay so let me say let me ask this question is 500 dollars good enough for you in the next month yes or no put it in the chat 500 dollars is it good enough for you yes or no in the next month is a thousand bucks good enough for you yes or no in the chat a thousand bucks. <laughs> Gustav said, hey, yeah. All right. Is 2000 good for you in the next month? Yes or no? Is $5,000 good for you? Yes or no? Right. So a lot of us, when it gets to the higher, is $10,000 good for you? Yes or no? So you realize that as it goes higher, as the money goes higher, most of the people are saying yes. So the issue of us being profitable has nothing to do with you being good or not on the charts. That's part of it. But the main issue of us being profitable is our mindset that goes back to um, having capital, right? So if we had more capital, so watch this. If we had more capital, and we were able to make 10% of the bigger capital, would that make sense for you? If you had a, a capital that was able to make 10%, $5,000, that 10% of that is $5,000, would that be a good for you, yes or no? Put it in the chat box. So what I've realized is that when I came in, into the system or came into the game, right? I came in eight years ago, almost eight years ago. I came in with no capital. 
And a lot of us probably don't have the capital. Right? A lot of us probably started with put a put a put a one in the chat box if you started with one thousand dollars or less of, of your own money. Put a one in the chat box if you started with one thousand dollars or yes or less. Put a two if you started with five hundred dollars or less. Put a two if you put a if you started with five hundred dollars or less. <laughs> now put a three if you started with a hundred dollars or less. That I, I did that. Right. So what I've realized is that over the past few years, and, and as I'm thinking, talking to people, is that capital is the main issue. Right. So capital is the main issue. What is capital? Capital is money. Right. So the amount of money we have access to is the main issue. So watch this. The more money you have or the more capital you have to start with, the less risk you're going to take. True or true? So the more capital that you have, right, the less risk you're going to take. The less capital or the less money you have to start with, the more you're willing to risk to make a certain amount of money. Does that make sense? So right now, a lot of people, including myself, when I first started, I didn't have capital. So I had to take a lot of risk to make to 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 catch up or to make up for the amount of money that I wanted to see. So when we're talking about becoming profitable, we have to be realistic, but at the same time, we got to get our capital up. So what is one way to get to gain your capital? Right, to get a capital. One way is take a loan. So some people do that. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I do not recommend taking a loan because you could blow that easily. That was a waste of money, right? But if you want to, you can, right? So one way, um, ways to gain capital. Uh, number one, taking a loan, right? I do not recommend that, okay? Number two, is a prop firm, funded account. Okay. Number three is to grow a small account to a big account. Um, all right. Out of these three that you see, right, which one is more like like which more is more likely that you would do one two or three out of the three that you see right here which one is more likely that you would do okay i see a lot of twos <laughs> i see a lot of two and three nobody's saying one <laughs> you better not say one okay so out of these three right a fun of the count so let me share something with you let me share something with you that i think is a good a good thing all right so for me personally, right, when I'm doing a funded account, I personally go for the, the biggest one that I can afford. The reason why is because I'm able to make a certain amount of money that I normally um, could not do before. So let's have an example. If we took a, and put an account you can take you know, whatever platform, whatever it is that you do, right? So let's have an example, right? We had a um, a twenty thousand dollar funded account, okay. And in the prop firm that I use, you know, you can get up to eighty five percent. In the first month, it's seventy percent. So if I was to do ten percent of um twenty thousand, what is that? Somebody, let me know. What is ten percent of twenty thousand? 2K, exactly. Okay. Now, what is 70% of 2K? All right, what is 70% of 2K? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good at math. I mean, what is 10% of 2K? Sorry. 1,400. Okay. So, <laughs> Travis said, I think. Is that, is that, is that 14,000? No, no, no. Of oh, 2K, of oh, 2K. $2,000. What is 70% of $2,000? All 
right? So 70%, um, of $2,000, nobody knows? Okay, so 14, okay, 14, okay, cool. All right, so 1,400. Is this, this number right here, is that a good number for you? Put yes or no in the chat. Would you be happy? Will Forex, will Forex be worth it? Right, so some people say yes, some people say no, all right? Most people say yes. All right, so again, the issue is not, so that's only 10%. What is 10%? Um, okay, so 10% is, <laughs> this is a part that gets crazy. Do you know that if you trade with proper risk management, catching 100 pips a month will get you 10%. So if, so if you had a plan, right, proper risk management with the proper lot size, 100 pips can get you 10%. Remember, remember we're talking about becoming profitable. So 10, 100 pips, <laughs> uh, is 100 pips a lot, yes or no? <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is insane, man. Is 100 pips a lot of pips? Not at all, right? So again, the issue about being profitable is not so much about being a great trader. The issue is capital. Where are we going to get the capital, right? And years ago, Jerome could attest, right? Years ago, Aaron could attest that we had to grow account from a small to big. Now we got something called funded account, right? To me, it's one of the greatest options. So 100 pips will get you 10%. All right, let's say, for example, we had 50K, right? A 50K account, a 50K funded account, right? 50K to $50,000, okay, funded. 10% of 50,000 50, is what? It's 5K, right? It's crazy. What is 70% of 5K? This is the first month of 5K. What is 70% of 5K? Is it a 3,500? Okay. 3,500. Is that worth it? Yes or no? Is that worth it for you? Is that worth it? So I believe um, in my Forex fund, uh, 100 and... Somebody let me know what is the 20k account is what 130, 139, 140, $140, I think, if I'm not mistaken. The 20k account is $140. I think somebody, somebody, somebody refresh my memory. Uh, let me see. Because well, today everybody's like, Ralph, what are you talking about? Okay, my forex funds. Let me see. Let's go to it. Ran it. So Ran it should be helping me in this this one. All right, so the 20K account is 139, right? So, so $139, right? So this one would be, so you pay, let's just say that this is what you use, right? So you pay, pay 139 to gain access to this, okay? This one, you, I think you pay 299. You pay two ninety nine to gain access to a fifty k account. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right. Then let's say we go to um a hundred thousand dollars. Which one is that? That is so hundred thousand dollars. You pay five hundred dollars, right? Four ninety nine. All right. So you pay like I want you. Guys, look at this. Um, you pay four ninety nine. All right. So this is like a hundred k example. All right. So a hundred thousand dollars. All right. Ten percent of a hundred thousand dollars is 
um, 10,000, okay? Equals 10, 10K. Seventy percent of hundred uh, of ten k is what? That's seven thousand. Yeah, seven thousand. Is this worth it? Yes or no? Right. We're doing the exact same thing. Ten pips. I'm 100 pips, sorry. 100 pips can get you 10%. Right? I want to open your eyes because I'm not trading a lot these days. You guys can see it in the chat, right? I don't trade a lot. It's, 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 it's no need to. Right? 100 pips can get you 10%. There's no, there's no need to. So what I realized is that Yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about your first month, Travis. First month. I'm just, I'm just in the first month. Yeah, just, just the first month. Well, it, it goes up to 85, but just the first month. That's it. Yeah, we're not, we're not even talking about, <laughs> oh, like higher. We're just talking about first month. All right. So again, the main issue about um, um, becoming profitable. Well, one of the main issues is that it's not that we're so great. It's not that we don't know what we're doing, but that. We, we're trying to do something that's hard to do. What I did in the past, you know, grow a small account to a big account, that can be done, but it's not easy. Hundred of us, for those of you that have been trading for some time, can attest that it's not easy, right? Yes or yes? It's not easy to grow a small account to grow it. Like, one, patience. How many of you guys have patience? Drop a yes if you have patience. Drop a no if you have no patience, right? So you, you got to have patience to compound the growth. All right. Now, one of the other things that, I've realized that we don't do is something called withdrawal. Has anybody withdraw before? So taking out money from a broker or, or got paid out from um, a, a funded account, you know, a prop firm has, it, drop a yes if you have. Drop a yes if you ever took out money before. Drop a no if you have not yet. Drop a no if you have not yet. All right, drop a no if you have not yet. All right. Now, we want to get into a habit of withdrawing our money. So let's say, for example, with a prop firm, when you pass the phase, right, they teach you how to do it. They say, hey, I'm going to give you back the money that you invested. So now it's break even. Even a prop firm does that. But sometimes we ourselves, right, we don't withdraw the money that we invested, right? So we want to get in a habit of withdrawing Whatever money that you invested in your um, in your trading account, okay. So if you invested five hundred dollars, once it pass, once it goes to a thousand, withdraw. Or once it pass a, you know, let's say it, yeah, it pass a thousand, withdraw the money that you that, that you that you, and then that's called break even. Now you are playing with the house money or whatever amount that you that you want, right? So grow to a certain amount and then withdraw the money that you took, or you can even with withdraw ten dollars. Withdraw, withdraw twenty dollars. Withdraw fifty dollars. So, you, so you can have that taste, because once you taste that this is real, once you have money that you made and you withdraw, and it's like, oh my god, this actually works. It 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 gives you a certain type of belief, right? I don't know about you guys, but I remember the first time that I withdrew, it gave me a certain type of belief that this is actually this actually works. How many of us have had that feeling before? That when you withdrew, you had that, it's like, oh my God, I actually got money, like, <laughs> this thing works, right? So we want to have in the habit, we want to get into the habit of withdrawing some money out. Now we're here. Okay. So again, the capital is the main reason, uh, the main issue. Okay. Now let's talk about some habits that we need to, we need to have. So uh, some habits we need to have, it's, to be profitable, right? We do not need to overtrade. Do not need to overtrade at all. All right. We do not need to overtrade. So I know that we have Eminus, right? Eminus Nepal. Now, I personally don't take no trades from nobody. 
But I hear that it's doing pretty well. How many of us are making money of the services in this company? How many of us are making money of this? Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up five in the chat. Put a five in the chat if you're making money off the services in, in the company. Right? Put a five in the chat if you're making any type of profits with the company. And I believe that we can use the services, right, to pass these prop firms. But we have to plan our trade. So one thing I suggest is that we don't have multiple places taking, um, you know, taking trades from multiple places. Right? We don't want to be taking multiple trades from multiple places. We want to take trades from specific places. All right, very specific places, not multiple places. So an area that that I like at the at the at the um, time of this call is, of course, I trade once or twice a week. That's all I need. I don't need too much, right? Once or twice a week. Don't don't need too much um trading going on, right? So for example, um, let's see some. Uh. Let me see some real quick. Okay. All right. So we don't need to overtrade. All right. These are things that we already know what to do. We want to have these habits in, in place. And so number one, don't overtrade. Number two, always protect your account. All right. Always protect your account. All right. What does that mean? That means that we have to move stop loss, right? Move stop loss to break even or take partial profits, all right? Always, all right? Or not, well, I don't say always, but do one or the other, right? To protect your account. We don't wanna be losing, taking L's that it's not necessary, all right? We, we don't want to be taking um, trades that it's not necessary, right? So we need to, um, number one, don't overtrade. Number two, always protect your account. I always do this, right? Protect your account at all costs. Plan your trades, all right? Plan your trades. So if you're taking trades by yourself, right? Plan your trades. If you're taking trades from, you know, a signal or whatever it may be, Right. Make sure that you're not taking all the trades that come through. If you take one or two and you hit, you know, your 10%, you're good. Look, look, watch this. A hundred pips, 10%, you're good for the month. If you follow this, again, a hundred pips. If you have a, a larger, right, a bigger amount. So if you know that I'm going to, I have a, a thousand dollar um, account. 10% is $100. If that's good for you, then you stick to that. If it's not good for you, you got to get a capital up. Got to get the money up. Does that make sense? So if $100, if 10% of whatever it is that you get, like, this is what I suggest. Because 1,000 pips a month, everyone can do it. How many of us have, have has ever done 1,000 pips a month before? Drop a four in the chat. Drop a five if you never did it. Drop a four if you have, drop a five if you didn't. It's not easy. It's not easy. Sheesh. Keisha not playing. Right? So most people have not done it before. Right? Which now I realize that most people can't do that. It takes some time. It takes some, some years. Keisha, real quick, how long have you been trading? Three years. You see how long it took? It took, right? It took some time. It takes some time to, to get to that point. She's been trading three years. So she's able to do that. Right? It takes time. But for the average person, right? Like you and me, right? The average person, it's easier to get your capital up and then make a smaller um, um percentage. Is this making sense? Drop a seven in the chat if, if uh, this is making sense to anybody. All right, so when we're to become profitable, right, we got to think about what we need to do to reach the amount of goal that we, we need to get to, all right? Over trading, what are some habits? <laughs> what are some habits that we do that gets us in trouble? What are some habits that we do that gets us in trouble in trading? 
what are some things that we've done in the past that we might have blown our account or, or nearly blown an account? What are some things that we did in the past that, you know, put us, put us to that point? No wait for the retest, right? We don't wait for the retest. Over leveraging. Over leveraging is one of the, the biggest things, Darcy. Epic lot size. <laughs> no stop loss, right? Over trade, mini trades. So let's have an example. On a weekly basis, right? How many trades do you think that you take? Revenge trading. Very good. Very good, Travis. How many, how many trades do you think you take a week? For those of you that do trade right now, how many trades do you think? And it's okay to put, like, don't be, don't be, don't be um, you know, two to three. Travis say two to three. I take the same thing, two to three, right? Two to three, or uh, two to four. All right, so Peter say two to four, All right? Some of us might be scalpers. We take 10 trades. That's, that's good. That's fine. So even if you're scalping, right? Even if you're scalping, 10 trades, 10 pips each, right? 10, 10 trades, right? If you take 10 trades, you take 10 pips each. That's 100 pips, right? So whatever percentage that you want to, so this is something that you have to come up with yourself, you know? I gave you guys an example of what you, you, you can do, right? So for example, um, if you have, um, I don't want to be too personal, but yeah, I don't want to be too personal. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to ask that. Cause I, I was going to ask, um, you know, okay, let me put it this way with the account size that you have right now, what percentage of growth would you like to see on a monthly basis? So again, with the account size you have right now, what percentage of growth would you like to see on a monthly basis? Um, that works for you. I see 10, I see 10, right? It could be 15, it could be 20, right? 10 to 20, very good. I, I, I like that, right? 10%. Now don't say 10% because I said 10%. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> 20%. Okay. <laughs> All right. So if 10 to 20%, all right. So again, this is what I just want you guys to think. But the money that you have, right? The money that you're getting right now um, is 10%. How are you going to do that? What is the call to action, right? How are you going to do that? Are you taking your own trades? Are you taking it from me? Are you taking it from Eminus? Like, where are you getting the trades from? Is it yourself? Put in the chat for me real quick. Is it um, 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 Plutos? Um, is it Monara? Is it, um, I don't know. Most in Nepal, Monara. Myself, I love that, right? So we, have, we got three different things. What about everybody else? Like, is it from a service, from the company, Pluto's, Arabic? Okay, cool. Arabic, Monara, right? Pluto's, Arabic, Pluto's and Arabic. Darcy, like, 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 um, like fast money, huh? The dust is like fast moving money. <laughs> it's like the volatile money. I like that. <laughs> Monara, I want to be able to be profitable myself. That's great, right? But that's going to take some time, right? Ralph Monara, <laughs> thank you. Somebody said me. One person said me. One person. Thank you. <laughs> that's all good. It don't, it don't matter. It, it don't matter. But it takes time, right? But if we're able to gain our capital, right? Again, me, when I was, when I was coming, doing this, I didn't have capital. I had, I'll trade $100, $200, $300. The most I had, I did it one time was $500. That was the most I had. I didn't have it. I didn't have it. I just started working. I just got married. Um, so I didn't have it. I didn't even have furniture in my house when I started trading. Did I have furniture? No, 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 I lied. I had, I don't remember exactly what furniture I had, but I know I had some furniture in my house. Right, because I just literally just got married, right? So when I first started trading, I had nothing. There was nothing there. So I had to, you know, grow and I had to, you know, be wise with it. Now let me say this: um, if if you can, can everybody drop how old you are right now? 28, 30, 21, 25, 32, 18, 18. Wow. 33, 20. All right. I'm 35. All right, let me drop it. So let me say this. 
for those of us that are a little bit a bit younger right and you know might still you know might not have those um we not we might not have you know a lot of you know things to pay bills to pay you know we might be still with about with our parents or whatever it may be i suggest that you go full force okay the reason why i say that is if i had this 10 years ago before i got married and have children it would be a bit different because once you have kids once you get committed to someone once you get married once you have you know rent to pay a mortgage to pay um you know a lot of bills you have to be wise with your money yes or yes can we attest to that? But if you don't have those things in place right now, I suggest that you go full force. Go full, go hard. Take, like, learn as much as you can. Go full force. Because once you have a family, the decisions start to change a little bit. I got started when I had a family. But once you have a family, your reason why is usually also bigger than, you know, single people. Single people are just, single people, what's the reason why? Those that are single, <laughs> like, if, well, if you know that you're single, if you're single and the person that you're with don't know that they're single or you're single, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if you're single, <laughs> like, you know that you don't have, <laughs> if you know that you don't have uh, uh, people, you know, people to be you know, taken care of, how do, what, are, what is your reason why? Actually, actually, let me ask everybody. What is your reason why? Why are you doing this, right? Why do you want to become profitable? What is the reason of trading to make money? Like, why do you want this so bad? <laughs> so Ralph, uh, Raina said, I'm married with three kids. I feel you. Yep, bro. It's, it's time freedom. Okay. Freedom. Financial, uh, financial time freedom for me and my family. Love that. Long-term mission, traveling. Love that. All right. Dream to get my parents to retire. See? All right. So I learned a few years ago that, and, and Jerome can attest, um, Rana can attest, right? That if your reason why don't make you cry, my daughter, oh my God, that's, that's my reason why right there. If your reason why don't make you cry, you need to, you need, you need another reason why it's not going to push you towards this um being profitable if your reason why don't make you wah wah if you're not sick and tired of the of of your current situation you're not it's not going to change right so if you're sick and tired of your current situation then it's time to make things happen okay so again become profitable right now, the things I want to talk about real quick is planning, is, is creating a plan. I think somebody said in the chat today, I've seen it that, um, you know, they failed the phase one and, you know, they're going right back at it. But the planning is everything, right? I say this all the time, proper planning prevents poor performance. And that's what we're talking about today. Poor, oh, my God. Poor performance. Okay. So proper planning prevents poor performance. So if we want to be profitable, right? How many trades am I taking from Monara? How many trades am I taking from, um, what do you call it? From Eminence? How many trades am I taking from me, from um, um, Nepal, from Arabic, from Plutos? Right? How, many, how, many, how many calls are we taking? By the way, this Sunday, there's a, this Sunday family call, you guys don't want to miss it. All right, this Sunday family call, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> you do not want to miss it. It's going to be a special guest on the family call. The flag will be dropped soon. I'm not going to say nothing until the flag drops. Or should I say it? Jerome, should I say it or not? I don't know if I, if I should say it. That's, that's, that's a special guest. All right, so this family call, this Sunday, we have a privilege of having a special guest 
Um, <laughs> he he is the the proud owner and educator of Plutos. He is the one that passes people's funded account. So this Sunday, we have Mr. Plutus himself, Nigel Hammett, is going to be our special guest on our family call. <laughs> it's about to get fun. <laughs> It's about to get crazy. All right, let's get back to regularly scheduled program. All right, so this Sunday, please, whatever it is that you do, don't miss it. Do not miss the Sunday. You can invite guests on. You can invite as many people as you want on the call, on the family call. Let them come in here and see what is being done. This is actually a perfect time to invite guests. All right, let them hear from the man himself. Okay, so invite as much guests as you can. Let them hear from him, and then we'll go from there. All right. So proper planning prevents poor performance. So how many trades, how many trades um, are we taking from whoever, from whom or wherever, all right? So once you meet your goal, that's it, we're done, okay? Once our goal is met, we are done. So that means that if you take a trade from me, out of the whole month, you, all you need is two winning trades because both my TP1s are 50 pips. So if you, if you take two winning trades, you're done for the month. That's 10%. You're good at proper risk management, though, not at a lower risk management. So that means you're trading less. For me, I trade less to re reach my goal. So right now, my goal is to make, to do at least 250 pips a month for the company. That's it. I'm not doing no more. I'm pushing everybody. I'm teaching everybody to get capital up so that you don't have to be over leveraging your account. Does that make sense? 10% is good. Have we learned something so far? Right. I went from trying to catch a thousand pips a month, which most people can't do to just catching 10, 10, um, hundred pips, 10% a month with a higher capital. Now, if you don't have the money, it's cool. But if you do have, so let's go back to, you know, another prop firm, right? And this is what I suggest. If you can, right, get a prop firm if you can. What you want to do with a prop firm is this, and this is the last thing I'm going to say before we end. Prop firm is not a long, uh, let's, it's not a long-term thing. All right, a prop firm is not a long-term thing. So somebody, if you're here and, and, like you have a, long, uh, a prop firm, at some point, that life of that prop firm is going to die because you're either going to break a rule or something, something's going to happen and the prop is going to die, right? So don't think that you're going to have a prop firm for a year, two years, three years. No, or, or that account for a year, two years, three years. No, it's like, let me break that lie away from you. So what you want to do is get your account and get as much money as you can as fast as possible and withdraw your money, all right? So what you can do it's less of an example, you have a, a $50,000 account, right? And you get $5,000. What I would do is to take that money or take a lot of that money and put it into my own trading account. That's what I would do, right? So if you made $50,000, i am not taking, uh, if you make $5,000, i am not taking $3,500, right? So let's go back to the whiteboard. I'm not taking this money here. Am I showing my screen? What am I showing? Right, so I'm not taking this money and going going to Dubai. I'm not taking this money and going buy go buy a new a new whatever, a new a new wig. <laughs> right. right, I'm not taking this money to go buy you know a toy, you know something that you've been looking forward to. I'm taking this money and I'm gonna put it and invest it and put it back into my personal trading account. So that I can grow that. Because a funded account, like I said, it's not a long-term thing. At any point like that, we can um we can um 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 what you call it? It's not coming. Somebody help me. We can um trigger uh it's not coming, man. 
The words are not wording. The words are not wording. Somebody help me out. At any point, we can not, not lose an account, but we can um blow it, breach it, breach it. Thank you, breach it. Thank you, Darcy. Breach it. Right? At any point, we can breach it. So what I advise is that get the bag, right? One, two, three months, maybe. Get the bag. Take the money and then invest it, put it into your own trading account. This is what I suggest, right? If you have something you want to do with it and then you could go back to it, create another one and do it again. And, and at that time, you can do whatever you want to do, right? So we got we to gotta think, right? We got to think about long-term goals because if we think that you're going to have a, a 500 or let's say $100,000 account and every month you're going to be doing a certain amount of a number, just, just, just think twice about that. That's just a, a suggestion, all right? So again, want to be thinking about profitable. Now, once you have your, your own personal account, right, your own trading account or your own, um, then you want to be growing it gradually, right? Compound growth, right? Compound growth cannot really work on a funded account. You can, you can make your money 10%, this, 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 and that. But at some point, that overall is going to be touched, right? That overall is going to be touched because sometimes we lose, right? If you take a lot of trades, you're going to be coming into this, right? Overall drawdown. Okay. If you take a lot of trades, it's going to be hit. So at some point, we're going to hit this. I don't know when, but so let's be mindful of that, that at some point we're going to hit the overall, right? So let's get the bag 10%, 20%, whatever it may be, and then put that money into your own trading account and move on from there. Does that make sense? If you got some bills to pay, you got this to do, but this is just a, a suggestion that that's what I will do invest back get the get the bag invest back into it do you have any questions that's it that's all i had for today do you have any questions uh let me let me pause here <laughs> here we go all right so the question is um what should your risk um uh, be on a funded account you know what lot size should you be be trading and etc um, I think um, it's a good question. It's a great question because this is something that a lot of us, um, you know, that do funded accounts have been um, battling with. And I think that the answer to that is having a higher risk reward ratio. Um, I've, I've noticed, even with myself, I noticed that a higher risk reward ratio, for example, if you do a one to three, right? If you take two, two trades, right? And you do, so, Okay, there's all right. Let me let me share my screen. Let me share. So for example, right, I do 20 pips, right? My stop losses. So if I lose a trade, I'm at um 2 point trying to see the percentage at 2%. Right. So if I do lose a trade, that's that's only 2% for the day, right? Or for the trade. So if we're looking to get into, um, what do you call it, 10% for the week, right? If that's what you want to do, right? This is why you got to know those things, 10% for the week. That means that if you're a day trader, or I mean for the month, sorry, 10% for the month. That means if you're a day trader, you're only looking to trade probably twice for the month. That's crazy to say, right? Because one trade is 50 pips. So we talked about this, 10%, the bigger your account, only 10%, two times, oh my God. Trading two times a, a month is, is insane to hear, right? So again, it's not about the quality of, I mean, the quantity of trades, it's about the quality. So um, I don't know, what is the, what is the, um, the average um, TP for, let's say eminence, what's the, what's the average TP, um, Nepal? What's the average TP? Can, can anybody tell me? I have no idea. So let's just say, let's just say um, you look into this is crazy, but okay, let's let's just don't 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 answer. <laughs> don't answer. I don't want all right, 10 pips. Okay, so scalping. So 10 pips. So if the average is 10 pips, that means that we're looking to catch 10 trades out of the month from Nepal. Right? 10 trades out of the month, not a week, out of the month will get us to a hundred. Um, uh, pips, which is 10%. And 10% of 50,000 on my Forex fund to get us 3,500. 
right? 10% over 20,000, okay, that's 1,400. Oh, well, you guys don't know what I mean, right? So we can see this, we can see this, we can see this. This is why capital is key, right? The more capital we have, the less we have to do on the trading side, right? So what I would say is that based on the capital, right? And I think that this is based on individuals as well. Based on the capital, right? You got to have how much, how much you're trying to see a month, right? So if you know that you're trying to catch a certain amount of um, percentage a month, how many trades do I need to, depending on if I'm, if I'm a scalper, if you're a scalper, that's 10 trades a month to get 10%. If you are um, a day trader, that's two trades. Oh my God, that's two trades. There's 50, 50, 100 pips, bam, 10%. If you are a, a, a swing trader, that's like one trade a month. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I like my mindset, I'm blown away. Me, even though I do this and I'm saying it, I, I'm blown away myself by the numbers, right? Because I was always teaching about, hey, 250 pips a week. This, 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 this all because I had, like, we didn't have the capital, right? But now we got the funded account, we got the capital. We, we don't have to do so much. Are you guys following me? So in the next month, what's today's date? Today's the 20th, right? From today to March, I said March, May the 20th. If we follow this as a scalper, let me, let me put it down here, right? Scalper. So let me, let me put it, actually, let me put it on the other side. So scalpers, right? Um, so all of us are taking, let's say, we're going to 10% a month, all right? Let's just say 10% a month. Now, this is all based on having a, a bigger account, all right? So 10% a month. Scalpers are taking 10 trades a month, all right? At 10 pips each, at 10 pips each, right? That equals, um, that would equal to 100 pips. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, fine. All right, so that's scalpers. Day traders are taking um, two trades a month to get um, 10%. Wait, what did I put? Okay. Um, are taking two trades a month to get 50 pips each. That's if you get 50 pips each, right? That um, equal um, 100 pips. A swing trader, oh my God, one trade. I could do this. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know, man. I I'm getting excited. One trade a month. A swing trader, that's, that's easy, over 100 pips. But, but with the prop firms, right? A lot of prop firms, you have a minimum amount of days that you can trade, right? So, for example, um, kudos, 10 to 50 pips. With, um, what about the trade to stop loss? So, yeah. So, if the trade is a stop loss, that's fine. So, this is why you got to have a, um, the risk reward has to be great, like, your risk, your reward has to be greater than the risk, right? So that helps a lot. So I do minimum one to three, right? If it hits stop loss, you got to take the trades to make up for it. So for example, if you, if you have, um, if you are, let's say you're a scalper. No, let's say you're a day trader, right? Like how I trade. I'll, I'll take, i lose, let's say i lose two, right? I'll lose two, or let's say i lose three. Right, now went to okay. That is three is twenty pips. That's sixty pips. Okay, so I took five trades, and then um I went to that's so that's a hundred. Right, so that means that I just got forty pips, um forty pips profit. Okay, but if I went three, right, let's say I I, I take three trades, right, that is um hundred and Oh, actually, no, the way I trade is 100 pips. Yeah, yeah, so uh, three, that's 300, that's 300 pips minus 60. You guys see that, right? So 300 minus 60, what a 240. So that's 240 pips. I went three, I lost three. 
let's break even. I would that's that's um even like you're not good or you're not bad, right? But because I have a, a one to five ratio, this is this is my goal. So I lost 60 pips, right? Because I have 20 pips stop loss, 100 pips take profit, right? That's every time I trade, same thing. 20 pips stop loss, 100 pips take profit, right? So this amount that I risk and this amount that I gain, right? 300 minus 60 is 240. <laughs> it's crazy. It, 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 it's insane, man. So it's 100 profitable pips a month. Exactly, right? 100 pips profitable yes 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 100 profitable pips a month yes 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 thank you for saying that yes exactly 100 profitable pips a month yes 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 i'm glad you said that good um what was i saying yeah so a certain trade one trade a month or one, look not not too much so we get one trade from eminence or from me or whatever it may be you know you catch all from monara or from plutos uh, and we're good to go all right i hope I hope that answered. Um, Jerome, thank you for the question. That was that's a great question. Any any other question? Any other question? If not, that'll be it. I will put this recording up as soon as possible and post it in the chat um, for everyone to have access to. So that um, yeah, I'll post it up as soon as I can and then um we'll go from there. All right. Family, God bless you. Let's enjoy our Thursday. I got two trades in the chat. Um, one is currently sitting at entry. The other one is at 20 or 30 pips in profit. But hopefully it goes in, in profit and we catch, make our money today. Uh, make some money today for the month. And that's it. God bless you, family. It's not going to sign it up. Peace.